Well, I like to go on the back, but you probably like to go on the back too, don't no. you? <laughs> so, let's swap and change, eh? <laughs> we got the, oh, well, who's going to sit in the back and who's going to sit in the front? Well, yeah, I didn't really like we sitting both, in the front. We both used to being in control of the boat. <laughs> yeah, so this is, it's going to be interesting. you got two captains in the boat here, but uh, we'll, we'll just get her done. We'll figure, we'll, we'll swap and change and take turns in the back and see how we go. Uh, it's pretty shallow, actually. We're going to be scraping a little bit of the way down, but we'll be fine. There's enough to get her down, and um, I reckon this boat can handle the jandal. Two uh, 98, 100 kilo plus lads in here. Uh, we're hoping to shoot a goat, that's the plan. Whether or not that happens remains to be seen. Uh. Hello. on the left hand bank so we're going to try to sneak around the corner and uh, get on and peg on with an arrow. I'm just going to go on with my GoPro and uh, we'll hopefully we'll have goat and tucker for dinner because Court wants to cook stroganoff and we've run out of venison so we're going to have goat stroganoff. I don't know if it lends itself too well to stroganoff or if we cook it on the same night we shot it. It's probably going to be quite tough but I think we're going to give it a crack. So that was a bit of humour, I snuck up around the corner here and stuck my head around the side of the rock to see where they were. And the kid was only about two metres away from me. I didn't really want to shoot it at two metres, it would be a bit unsporting, so I jumped down hoping that it would run a couple of metres and I'd get a shot away and they just legged it up across the slip and gone around the corner, so that was a bit of a fatal stalk there. I didn't expect them to be so close. We originally saw them a bit further down and then they snuck up and uh, yeah, it gave me a bit of a surprise actually when I poked my head around that a goat was right there looking at me. But we're just going to keep floating down and hopefully we'll see a couple more. We've just spied another one, just around the corner. Well that was pretty exciting for goat hunting I'll have to say. <laughs> this bow hunting is full on. Now, that was a relatively easily shot broadside. I thought it was a pass through, went straight through and I was waiting for him to fall over. He ran around the corner and there's no blood on the arrow or anything. It must have just, just gone over the top. I thought I hit him fair and square right in the, uh, right in the money spot where I was aiming for. But he tooted off around the corner, stopped for a casual glance back and uh, kept going. But might be another one around the corner hopefully. She's pretty hot and I'm roasting. Court's just bringing the canoe back down here. He's going to hang out here till he pulls into the zeddy. Yep.
Just stay on that right side, caught, caught. Swap paddles, that's it. <laughs> Piece of piss, mate. It's a long shot. Oh, <laughs> that was right on the money, but just above it. Damn it. I'll beat you down here. Nailed on that last shot. It was quite a long shot too, about 40, 50 metres. Pole axed it. Whew. Exciting. Uh, let's uh, let's hear it from from the other person's point of view, not mine. <laughs> let's see what really happened, shall we? <laughs> well, I Josh jumped out of the boat without telling me and picked up his bow and started shooting and left me sort of hanging there in the river. I was trying to back paddle to keep it so he could have arrows to shoot. And goats, he missed two shots and the goats went up the cliff and he essentially ran. He, he ran after him and I couldn't hold the boat any longer, so I came down. And then I heard this, yeah! and I saw this goat tumbling down the cliff. And it got down here and it was sort of thrashing around and it was mortally wounded. I just went ahead and got a rock and clubbed on its head and put it, put it out of its misery. And let it bleed out. Well, there you go. I think I'm going to beep a few of those bits out there and make the story a bit more uh, <laughs> well, <we> ethical. <laughs> <laughs> Cut out the miss the two shots, but <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you had realism for your videos. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. We'll put it in there. You guys know that. I don't cut anything out except for the f bombs. I'll put a few of those in there too. Um, basically, on the third shot, I fucking nailed it. Man, what an exciting day! I tell you, this bow hunting stuff is really exciting. I've never been so exciting hunting goats before in my life. Usually, it's like, ah, oh, there's a stinky old goat. Shoot it. But uh, with these bows, oh man, full on. So I'm glad I finally nailed one and it's a really good eater. It should go well in the uh, goat stroganoff. Oh, we've got to butcher it now and then uh, head on down the river. I tell you what, as, uh, as exciting as this bow hunting goats caper is, they're not the smartest of animals. There's not many animals you can jump out of a boat and chase down the side of the river and get close enough for a shot. I didn't get a shot away that time, but I got close oh. enough and if I was a bit quicker, I would have got an arrow away. And uh, the, the animal I did shoot, they pegged us and I legged it, it tried to get a bit closer and managed to get closer and get an arrow away. With the deer, no chance, that would never happen. So it's bloody exciting this goat hunting with a bow, but not super challenging. Time to move on to some deer, I think. Having said that though, it did take me a while to shoot a bloody goat, didn't it?
Now that we've got the goat home, I found the best way to prepare said goat. And uh, I've actually perfected this recipe over, over many years of trial and error. Is to simply season your goat uh, with generous amounts of salt and pepper. And what we do now is we simply place it in the oven. And there you have it. How to transform your goat mm, into delicious lamb chops. That is really good. Hey dog. Mm. Job done.